Welcome. This is a demonstration for Carcinia uh, QuickBooks Accounting Export. Um, we wanted to show this on a new uh, account. As you can see, we have a new account here, different than the standard demo account that we use, um, because we wanted to start fresh so that we can see the um, the, the numbers very clearly, uh, because in the demo account there's already a few uh, vehicles. Um, so we have a new account here. As you can see, this would be uh, how you would see your own account if you were to sign up with us. And um, we don't have any vehicles right now, as you can see. Um, so let's just uh, create a random um, vehicle. Let's say we're actually purchasing this vehicle from auction. It's a 2009 Acura MDX. Um, it can be any model. Um, we have uh, a test auction company. And uh, let's say we actually purchased this vehicle for $10,000. And uh, as you can see, the actual cash value is $10,000 as well. It can be different in which case uh, we would be gaining or losing some money uh, out of this purchase. Let's say we actually paid the auction company uh, $100 for the, for the fees and um, let's say we actually used um, an inventory loan lender like AFC on standard terms and uh, let's say we actually got a loan of uh, $10,000 from AFC. Now as you can see we have uh, uh, another hundred dollars remaining and obviously AFC is going to be charging us some money. Um, so let's say they actually charge us another hundred dollars so now we actually have to pay. Um, now this is not immediately due but uh, uh, now we actually have to pay another let's say hundred dollar cash to the auction and we have not paid our inventory loan yet floor planning. Um, as you can see the the vehicle is created um, here and uh, we have three invoices automatically created for the for the floor plan and uh, we have uh, a due amount of ten thousand dollars and one hundred dollars and uh, you can see the balance here and uh, let's say we actually um, decided to recondition the vehicle a little bit um, usually uh, any vehicle that you buy uh, requires some kind of reconditioning work. And uh, let's say we actually sent this vehicle to uh, detailing to a, to a detail shop and uh, let's, uh, let's say it's actually cost us hundred dollars and we actually did that today. We did not spend any hours on it and um, yeah, the reconditioning work. Uh, I guess we did not write it correctly. That's right. Okay, we did not spend any hours on it. It cost us $100 and um, we have our first reconditioning cost. And let's say actually we did some, some work on it as well. Uh, we did a windshield change. Now normally we would be using some part for it and we don't have the part available right now so let's just let's say we actually ordered the part from or we went to AutoZone and and got some um, windshields. So uh, I go to manage parts and uh, I create a windshield part stock number I don't care right now stock count uh, let's say it's the retail price is fifty dollars wholesale is fifty <coughs> and uh, now I'm ordering it from AutoZone uh, and um, order number, tracking number, they, they don't really apply. Uh, let's say we actually got 10 windshields. We, want, we just want to uh, get them all at once. We know that we're going to be needing them at some point. And uh, they were each $50, so let's say we actually paid AutoZone $500 and I guess we have to enter some kind of order number. Uh, this can be the invoice number as well, anything that you would like to uh, set there to identify the order. 
and uh, we have $500 for the order price and we receive we got the order so now um, our inventory right now if you look at the windshield our stock count shows 10 so now I can just uh, go back to the vehicle and uh, go to the reconditioning step and add the reconditioning work so windshield change and now these uh, these reconditioning steps are completely configurable as well uh, windshield change is just w one of the standard steps that we create uh, with the standard client setup and uh, let's say we did not use any um, additional vendor because um, now we have the windshields in-house so one of our employees in this case it may be yourself um, uh, or some somebody in your body shop uh, or repair shop is uh, doing the work that person is going to be using one windshield and uh, no additional cost um, so it's all getting done today let's say he actually spent four hours changing the windshield four hours okay so now as you can see we spent four hours here we used one windshield um, and we did the detailing so let's say the vehicle is now ready for sale we did the reconditioning um, it's good to go let's say we actually found a person on the same day to actually sell the car so um, we went to the sale tab and uh, we created a new deal so let's say we're actually doing a cash deal we're selling the vehicle for thirteen thousand dollars good profit um, hundred and ninety five dollars documentation fee now this can be uh, automatically coming they can be um, configured as a, as a standard setup uh, let's say we actually uh, paid fifty dollars registration fee and um, not to complicate the deal um, I'm not going to be entering anything else and um, now I'm looking at the uh, amount due and it says thirteen two ninety five so let's say the customer actually paid all of it cash and uh, we're saving the deal go to the customer page now we have um, let's say test test some customer um, our vehicle information is automatically populated we're just uh, going through the steps normally you would be filling out these uh, you would be spending some time on the, obviously on these uh, steps uh, you would be printing out the, the deals sending out the credit application if it's a credit application notes etc and uh, in this case let's say uh, we actually now one thing to note here the uh, registration cost here is an additional cost the, the registration fees usually are assumed to be automatically sent to the um, uh, you know uh, DMV so we don't need to enter anything else but if it costs an additional uh, amount then you can actually enter here um, let's say we actually spent a uh, hundred dollars on the commissions and um, you can see here our profit analysis uh, we have 13 195 revenue and the purchase price is ten thousand dollars purchase fees hundred um, inventory loan costs which are the floor plan costs hundred dollars reconditioning costs hundred dollars sale commission hundred dollars so now we have a total cost of ten thousand and four hundred dollars and the total profit is two thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars so now I just want to contract the deal and sell the vehicle and it is sold so um, let's try to see you know how our accounting would look like um, let's say this is the only car that we sold or uh, you may export you you may export to QuickBooks um, as uh, as many times as frequently as you like but um, one thing that you gotta make sure is uh, the date ranges when you export they should not overlap with the, the date range that was previously um, exported so 
we would recommend uh, monthly exports, but you can do any frequency um, that you feel comfortable. So I'm starting the QuickBooks, and uh, I'm going to be creating a new company. And I'm just going to be skipping the interview. I'm going to be saying my dealership, my dealer. It's a sole proprietorship, and uh, it starts in January, and it's a uh, um, automotive sales and repair company. And I'm saving the company file. It can take a little while for QuickBooks to create the company. Alright. The company is now created. So um, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be going to the QuickBooks export and um, as you can see we did not set the export uh, settings yet. Um, this is the standard charge of accounts used for uh, exporting the transactions from Carcinia. Um, you can <coughs> change the, um, the names of the accounts that you use on your end, um, but for the most part, you know, if you don't want to bother with it, you can just accept the defaults and update the settings. Now you're ready for the export, but one of the no, one, the, the first thing that we got to do, and this is done only once, is to export the accounts. And uh, we exported the accounts um, to uh, our hard drive, and now we're going to be importing um, the accounts into QuickBooks and we have imported the accounts. Now you, if you go to the company chart of accounts you can see here all the uh, vehicle sales accounts, um, purchase fees, purchases, all the accounts are created. Um, now we're going to be going um, in, in the quick, now we're going to be exporting the transactions now uh, you would, like I said before, uh, you would be uh, entering a date range normally here and probably this will be the start of the month and then the end date would be the end of the month. You would do this once a month. But uh, for the f if you don't enter anything, it's just going to be, Carcinia is going to be putting out the entire transaction data. So let's get the entire transaction data for now. And as you can see, we have only a single vehicle um, entry, a little reconditioning and the sale of it. So I'm going to be downloading the transactions file and from the QuickBooks end I'm going to be importing the transactions file. And I imported my data. Now um, let's go to reports. And uh, getting a peek of um, how it will look on the, on the QuickBooks site. As you can see the profit and loss, uh, we have $13,000 from the vehicle sales, uh, $195 from the documentation fees, and uh, $50 from the government fees. So the total income is this much. And then uh, floor plan fees, um, we have not paid the floor plan yet on Carcinia side. So if you were to pay the floor plan fees, actually, um, I mean, these would, these would still show up, but the total profit would be, um, would be probably less. Well, actually, for the, for this report, it may not matter that much, but uh, for some of the other reports, it's going to matter. Um, it's going to be changing. Uh, vehicle purchases, we spent uh, $10,000. That's the cost of goods sold, purchase fees, sale commissions. These are all cost of goods, goods sold. And we have $2,745 um, revenue or uh, profit. And uh, Carcinia tells us that uh, it was the same amount, actually. And uh, if you look at, um, if you look at, for example, the balance, sheet, uh, this gives us uh, we have basically uh, twelve thousand three hundred and ninety-five dollars in the bank, um, and uh, we have four hundred and fifty dollars. 
um, worth of uh, parts inventory which is nine windshields at this point because we spent uh, we used one of the windshields in, on the vehicle and um, this is our total assets and uh, our liabilities obviously the floor plan liabilities and we have this much equity which is our profit and uh, finally we have the statement of cash flows as you can see uh, floor plan payable net income now um, one thing that we have not done is the um, now we, we, our employee has spent about four hours um, doing this um, uh, repairing changing the vehicle uh, the vehicle's windshield so how do we actually pay for uh, for that employee where do we show that cost um, here you can see we have a little uh, report called service report and uh, you can see the hours spent on a monthly basis um, by different employees and um, in this case we can see that uh, four hours were spent and uh, QuickBooks have has um, various methods for uh, payroll options and uh, they usually work from uh, on, a, on an hourly basis you can set them up and um, you can just uh, use this report um, to determine how many hours an employee has worked uh, per week or per month or whatever the uh, pay frequency may be and um, just enter that on the QuickBooks side as an expense uh, as a payroll expense and um, that about concludes our demo um, if you have any questions, please, please contact us, and uh, thank you.